Greetings and welcome to Nathan Lyle Official. If you've never seen my face in a video before, my name is Nathan Lyle. This is my personal channel where I do vlogs, reviews, and whatever else catches my thing. I haven't been on here for a while. It's just... Just haven't felt like it, honestly. Uh, past two months got busy, and it's just been a strain mentally, and I just haven't... I haven't been feeling like it. No, I've been... Because, like, part of this, like, in the first place, was one need for, you know, create, creative outlet and need for socialization. I haven't felt either of those that much lately. So I just haven't, I haven't had any real reason to want to make a video other than just letting y'all know I am alive. Still out here surviving. Ha, 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 still alive, still alive. Anyways. Yeah, I'm alive, I'm good, everything's... I've actually, I'm scheduled. I, I, I'm scheduled to get my vaccine on Wednesday. I mean, it's one of those things I haven't been that worried about it. Okay, because first of all, I, I got that slave blood. You know, because my grandmother's always told me about how, you know, her grandfather's great-grandfather was a slave. My family's been here since at least the 1800s, maybe sooner. I mean, some slave records, some slave owners kept very detailed records. Some, not really. But, anyways, you know, we survived, you know, tribal warfare, the boat ride over, all kinds of disease and shit. So, just to make it this far... You know, I got some strong stock. I'm not that worried. I don't think I've had too many major illnesses in my life. No. Never had a broken bone. I've had torn ligaments once. I've had, like, one really bad cut. I got, uh, I've had, a, like I said, I think one or two major infections in my entire life. And I think the only... And I think, like, the worst one happened when I was a baby, when I had, like, a string of ear infections. That's it. Like, I don't remember that. That's what I'm told. Because other than that, like, I've never had anything that required hospitalization or anything. Anyways, like, like this thing's been around for over a year, and I've spent much of that time, unfortunately, outside interacting with people, many of which refuse to take even the simplest of safety precautions. I mean, the amount of potential exposure I've had, it's very likely that I already got it, was asymptomatic, and that it's I've got antibodies now. I'm not saying for sure that I do, I just know all this time later I've yet to have a single symptom, so... It's possible that I haven't caught it because my body's. Just, it's also possible that I caught it and my body fought it. It's good either way. I'm young enough and healthy enough, and there aren't. Like I'm just. There are a lot of other people with far more risk factors than me. I haven't been in a rush, but you know now it's available everywhere for everyone. Sure, why not get it just to say I got it? And so. So yeah, that's happening. Also, a book. My book, Forever I'm In, it's it's in progress. Can't give you an exact date. I am shooting for a summer release. I'll talk more details about that later. And I've been thinking about it for a while, when, when to get back into the comic book thing. Like, book three is pretty much done. Like, I could release it right now if I wanted to without color, but... I wanted to get colored, and also there's some promotional stuff I want to add to it as well. So right now, it's still still kind of saving up money, and just in the future. Like, I'm thinking next year, 2021, I'm going to revisit my finances and determine. And, like, we'll see. Like, it, it depends on what happens the rest of this year, because, you know, things... I mean, I don't want to say normal... But, like, the world's kind of returning to, you know, its pre-COVID phase. You know, so we'll see. We'll see how things get out for the rest. So I, I want to spend the rest of 2020s just continuing to rebuild my bank account because I like having as much money as possible. 
because you never know when shit's going to happen. Because I could not have predicted that COVID would happen and I'd, lose, and I'd go four months without actually working. So, yeah. If I had, if my bank account hadn't been as solid as it was, I, I, I wouldn't have lasted. So, like, I'm keeping stuff like that in mind. Because you just don't know in this world. So, for me... Yeah, I mean, I have enough money I could put the put my book out now, but the comic book, yeah. You know, but I'm I want just for me personally, I feel a strongest. I want to feel a stronger sense of security. So, you know, I'm taking. Uh, so I'm gonna take my time. It will it'll happen when it happens. But then, anyways, yeah, Toxic Volume 3 will be next, and then we'll do Volume 1 of Marin and Spirit World. And then, but, like, when those come out, who knows? Yeah, it's one of those things. We'll figure it all out. And so, what's, what's what, blah, blah. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it's almost summer. Weather's about to get, you're going to start hearing the, uh, Air conditioner more because it's about to get hot. It's down. It's it's hell down here in Texas. But so yeah. Uh oh. The, oh yeah. That the, the main reason I came on here is just to talk about HBO Max. I got it uh, just because I couldn't find a free trial. I mean HBO Max doesn't give free trials. I was told that if you go through Hulu so I signed up for a Hulu free trial because you can get an HBO Max free trial through Hulu but you can't but you can't you their free trial only gives you access to the library not the exclusive content so I canceled the Hulu free trial and just went ahead and bought HBO Max figuring you know what there are two movies I really want to see and the timing was right right, right so a lot of people will pay sixteen. It's sixteen bucks for a month. I mean, well, fourteen ninety nine, but with taxes, it's like sixteen something. A lot of a lot of people will pay that much for one ticket to see one movie in theaters. I'm coming on to see two, and then I got there and realized, holy shit, you got a whole bunch of other movies and TV shows. So I got on specifically to watch Kong vs. Godzilla, and then I was like, okay, let's go ahead and see the Santa Cut, and figuring, oh, Mortal Kombat's coming out in April, so I can stick around to watch that too. But then I got on and realized they've got all of the DC shit. I'm a huge DC fan, especially the animated universe. Marvel owns the uh, live-action movies, but DC still is still the master of the, the animated universe. I mean... So they've got they got the Spawn TV show, which I know it's not DC, and we were talking about DC, but I had to say it because they got you know Spawn. They've got uh, season three of Young Justice. I heard there's gonna be season four. I mean, season three in some ways it felt just like the old stuff, but in other ways it felt nothing like it. It's hard to explain without going too much into detail, but. Like, I'm glad I watched it. Like, I, like, I rewatched seasons one and two, so I'd be all caught up, because I can't... I don't think I've rewatched it, the show since it was originally on. It's been so long. It's been a long time. So, yeah, I rewatched it, seasons one and two, and then watched season three. Um, then... Because I, I, I tried to see that titans live action one it was shitty i couldn't i could barely f make it through the first episode i'm not sitting through that whole thing i started seeing all all the catching up on all of the dc animated you uh movies uh and and uh yeah honestly i don't know a lot of people say because i have a friend at work <coughs> Who said they had Disney Plus and I think Hulu or something, Hulu on Netflix, and they canceled it to get uh, HBO Max and Paramount Plus because they've got better libraries and stuff. Me personally, I still like Disney Plus more. A lot of it just depends because, like, 
my friend, because the one who said he didn't like Disney Plus, he said he grew up on Nickelodeon stuff, and me, like, I'm rewatching all, not only rewatch, he, he, he grew up on Nickelodeon, and he's not a huge superhero fan, but for me, Disney Plus, like, I'm not a huge, like, Star Wars fan, so I'm not looking at any of that shit, but, um, I, you know, huge Disney fan, so I'm still rewatching all of the shows I grew up with. Uh, cartoons and live action, uh, I, and I really love watching a lot of those old, really shitty made-for-TV Disney movies. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> like plus, of course, all of the um, all of the exclusive Marvel stuff, like WandaVision, Falcon and Winter Soldier, and I know there's more stuff coming with like Loki and the What If series. There's so, I'm looking forward to that. But, I mean, like, like I said, a lot of this stuff, there's no such thing as better. It really just comes down to personal preference. Now, I enjoyed HBO Max. I have no intention of continuing. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna go back to Disney Plus and start having, you know, more, have, yeah, I'm just gonna go back to Disney Plus. I enjoyed that one more. I mean, Paramount Plus looks interesting. I have, I don't need to sign up for it. But uh, yeah. Also, let's let's talk about some of these things. The Snyder Cut. I mean, it's cool. It's just wow. Is that really only editing? It, it feels like an entirely different movie. And so you gotta wonder what the fuck was the studio thinking when they edited the first Justice League together? Because they actually had a decent movie put together. They actually had a decent movie. And somehow made it entirely shitty. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot wrong with the Snyder Cut. Uh, but, I mean, it's there's far more wrong with the original League movie, man. Uh, it's... I, 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 I'm, I'm probably going to have to do a review of that one all, in, all on its own. And of course, I, I loved Congress vs. Godzilla... One of those things, like, is it a perfect movie? No, but it was exciting and fun. I enjoyed sitting through it. And, you know, Mortal Kombat, honestly, it's it's a mess in a dress. <laughs> uh, it's, I, here's the thing. I enjoyed watching it. It's not a good movie, though. <laughs> there is a lot wrong with it. <laughs> like, I, I, I enjoy shitty movies and by that I mean like I don't in all well, I mean I do enjoy l watching shitty movies and laughing at them but there are also times when I'm like I enjoyed sitting through this but I can admit this is a bad movie and you did everything wrong I still had fun though but uh yeah anyways I'm alive HBO Max sucks, and I'm getting the vaccine, so how are you doing? <laughs>